Ladies and gentlemen, hello, this is Obert Patek, welcome back to Prison Architect. Now, um, before you joined me in this prison, I was just planning out a little something down in the corner here, because I think we're going to convert the holding cell, which we no longer need, I might add, and we're going to turn that into solitary confinement, and the reason we're going to do that is because we have one prisoner awaiting solitary confinement. So, what we really need to do is get rid of this holding cell, and replace it with something that is more functional because at the end of the day once you've got cells you no longer need a holding cell so that's gonna allow us to dismantle basically everything there and uh, and replace it with solitary cells so we can lock our prisoners up if they misbehave which is uh, which is my idea of a good time so I think that's probably the best course of action and we'll start putting in this place now there we go uh, it's not a perfect size for, you know, solitary cells, but I think it'll work. Uh, it should, shouldn't be an issue. Solitary door. Yeah, let's go ahead. And they're all in place now. That is good. Nice. So, all we need to do is designate these as solitary cells. And, uh, and we're perfect. Also, what I think we're going to do is we're going to designate uh, an area outside as a storage room. Or not as a storage room, should I say, but a storage area, which will allow us to store old stuff and, uh, and just keep it away from, you know, obviously, the prisoners. Which is, uh, which is important. Okay. Prisoners are uh, are having shower time, which is nice. Make sure you guys scrub up, get clean. Hopefully. Now, I am aware that we are going to have to implement metal detect metal detectors all around our prison. Um, but at the moment, that's not really a huge concern for us. They're just minimum security prisoners. They're not, you know, they're not majorly majorly dangerous. So, what were we going to do this episode? We were going to. Uh, unlock CCTV and bureaucracy for a start and then we were gonna start rolling out CCD CCTV cameras tongue-tied can't say it CCTV cameras around our prison now another thing that we need to have is a visitation room and I'm not sure where we should have that it's interesting and um, perhaps up here perhaps up here I don't know what happens is that uh, we could have it up here actually in fact let's do that so family members family members will only have to come through here and up into the visitation room that that could work actually that could work really well hmm nice that's uh, that's actually that's actually quite good but uh, but yeah, it's it's sort of sort of breaking away from our our sort of block system. But I suppose these are only special rooms, and you know they are going to be used every day. But at the same time, you know it's not like it's uh, it's massively essential for the prisoners. Okay, that's wrong. Let's put that in there. Let's stick a door down here. There, yep. And then we shall designate this area as a visitation room. And of course, we're going to need to stick in some uh, some visitation tables, but that's no biggie. And of course, electricity needs to be a thing as well. Three hundred bucks a table. We can just about handle that. Bring this cable up there. Nice. Good. 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 So. Inmate nutrition. We still haven't got around to doing that. Prison policy. Yeah, we just researched that. So let's stick these both on uh, on low. Low quantity, low variety. Okay, so we can afford to to sort of you know go as low as possible, but not all the way down. So it looks like these visitors are uh, are meeting their incarcerated relatives in the dark. So. I suppose that's alright. Two escapes today? Are you kidding me? How? Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's just think about what we can... 
Oh, blast. Okay, stop. Stop, stop, stop. We need to... We need to get a fence on the go. There. And we also need a fence down here. And around here. Whoa, 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 whoa what happened there? Uh, and a fence around here until we can actually trust our prisoners. Well, not trust our prisoners, but, you know, at least do something to the contrary. So, guys, get on that super pronto. Oh, he's going for it. Okay. He tried to escape. You're trying to escape as well. Oh, this guard is on fire. And uh, and now they're not trying to escape. That's good. And hopefully with the uh, with the erection of this fence, it'll mean that, you know, we're in a better position to stop prisoners from ever escaping ever again. Which is nice. Which is really nice. And it's quite important as well, you know, so... Prisoners will no longer be escaping from us. Okay, two prisoners in lockdown. That's fine. Three families waiting to visit. Still got an area up here that we can change. Let's um, let's put a fence in here, and let's put a jail door as well. Jail door. There we go. Okay. Now, what is next on the agenda? CCTV cameras. That is it. Okay, let's put it in, in normal speed. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get a CCTV monitor right here. And we're going to need to get some CCTV cameras. Which way is that? Okay. Um, set up all around the prison. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think that should be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's yeah, let's let's have two in here. Why not? And once that monitor is installed, we can start linking the uh, linking the CCTV monitors to all the CCTV cameras around the prison, which will allow us to uh, to spy on our prisoners and make sure that none of them misbehave and get out of line and stuff like that, which is you know pretty essential for a prison. Okay, you need power, of course you do. Well, you know, we can do that. In fact, we'll put power all the way under here in case we, you know, install any extra monitors. Nice. Okay, so let's go into utilities and let's go to connect and let's connect this to... Whoa. To all the CCTV cameras that we've just installed. Good. Will that work? I think it should. That is nice. That is working really, really well. Oh, that's that's absolutely fantastic, that is. We've got a guard on here monitoring what's going on at the CCTV cameras, which means that, you know, we can we can hopefully reduce our guards through the use of smart technology like CCTV and, you know, stuff like that, which is good. I'm glad that that works so well, and, you know, it's taken us long enough to get around to using them, so it's about time we, we did. So, what is our next grant going to be? Why is, why is this not completing? Should be. Let's try high variety... Hi, yeah? Is that going to work? Ah, okay. Oh, we need three high-variety meals. Okay. Let's put another one in here. There we go. Okay, so, what is next on the agenda? We need to look at grants and see what we can do. Cell block B. Raise our prison capacity to 50. Interesting, interesting. Education reform... 10 security guards, visitation rights. We've pretty much done most of that stuff. We just need to have one more TV and a pool table. Which, you know, both of which are easy enough to do. The pool table can go can go down, but we are immediately going to pick it back up because, you know, there's no point in having a pool table in the corridor. And where's the TV gone? Yeah, the TV is there. Okay, let's stick TV in there. Okay, but before 
Well, when the workers arrive for the pool table, we can immediately dismantle it because it is not going in the middle of the corridor. No siree. I don't care how much the prisoners enjoy using it, it's not going in the middle of the corridor. Finished building it yet? Thank you very much. Let's dismantle that bad boy and, uh, and, and put him in storage. And you know, in fact, perhaps we can put it in the staff room. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's treat the staff and uh, not the prisoners. Oh, beautiful. The only area that we didn't... Bah, that's annoying. That's annoying. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, and build the rest of this. Purely because we don't want prisoners escaping. And if we fence this area off, we're eventually going to build into it anyway. So we might as well go and build it now. That is annoying. That's annoying to no end. Grr. There's no point in escaping. You kidding me? Are you kidding me? He literally ran through a construction site to get away. Oh, that drives me mad. Well, you know what? At least we can uh, open our prisoner intake and accept some new prisoners and replenish our numbers. Oh, that's really annoying, actually. That is really, really annoying. Okay, well, at least this is down, so no more getting away, no more escaping. And, you know, while we're here, let's go and uh, designate... Okay, we require armor. Okay, so we'll do that later once we've unlocked them in uh, in bureaucracy. Let's go and have a look. Actually, what can we unlock in bureaucracy? Hmm. Let's go and do tax relief. We might as well. It'll give us a little little bonus and prison labor as well. Uh, it's going to cost us a bit of money, but you know, we will get there eventually. In fact, can we accept any more grants? You can accept no more than two grants at a time. Inmate nutrition, which we're currently doing. Cell block B. Let's do it, actually. Let's do it. Uh, that 10,000 grant advancement is effectively going to pay for uh, for the establishment of this second block here. 11,000. It's expensive. It's probably the most expensive building we've put down as of yet. But, hey-ho, we're doing it. It's happening. So, if this is infirmary visitation up here, what about a workshop up here? A workshop, a cleaning cupboard... Stuff like that. What other rooms do we have? Laundry room, yeah. So a workshop and a laundry room and a cleaning cupboard. That'll work. Yeah, we'll stick that in this building up here so everybody can be happy. We have 12 prisoners arriving. Okay. That's cool. Um, we can't really deal with that many people uh, since we got rid of our holding cell. Whoops. Well, no, I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. Um... I'm sure people will be needing to be released very soon indeed. No. What about you? When are you getting released? Oh, not for a long time. Bummer. Um, okay. I'm sure we will be able to think of something. And I am very confident that the situation will resolve itself very soon indeed. I do like these CCTV cameras. It gives us a, gives us a nice view of you know, our entire prison. Which is which is really quite good. Allows us to spy on the prisoners. Um, the entrance. Let's make the entrance over here. Yeah. Nice. Stick it there. Right in the middle. And with that, we can actually start dismantling this fence here. All the way down there. And we can start extending it all the way over here. Yeah, to the end here. Are you kidding? Seriously? Beautiful. Just beautiful. How are prisoners getting out? Like, how? Well, at least, you know... At least we're closer to having enough room to house the rest of our prisoners. Goodness gracious me. That angers me. That angers me. So that door's in place, come on, get this down. Get the building down before any more prisoners have a escape attempt. Yeah. Nice, we did it. Okay, so the first thing we need to bring to this place is electricity. We're going to do that through the walls, and also not through the walls, because 
We can. Nice. Good. 1,300 bucks worth of electrical cable. I'm not too worried about spending that much. Um, and we are going to go into the clone tool. And we are going to highlight this area. Not this area. We're going to highlight this area. Yep. And we're going to start building. All along the back here. We need to be careful that we don't, you know, mess up the placement. But that's not too bad. Um, what else? Shower needs to be there, so... Yeah, no, not like that. Not like that. I think we've messed it up. I think we messed it up. No. Okay. Stop. Okay, we need to we need to think about this. And uh and we'll do that in the next episode, but for now, we're just going to start construction on these cells up here so we can perhaps have a little bit of extra capacity for the 12 prisoners that we have arriving in 6 hours. If you've enjoyed this episode, then ladies and gentlemen, please like and subscribe. My name's been Robert Potato and I will see you next time. Bye.